I'm Sir SirTapTap, and welcome back to Let's Play Bullet Heaven. Let's try... Okay, who haven't we shown? I think we've seen all of them. I'm not 100% sure we've seen Matt, so let's just show Matt. I know we've seen everyone else. Oh wait, let's check out his outfit effects. Weapon charge rate is generally what I want. Increase your bomb time. Item grounding radius. Yeah, I really don't care about that one. Bomb damage, don't care about that one either. Aww. Poor forest. Rest in peace. What the hell was that? Not that we've seen... I don't think we've seen any of the paid characters show up in dialogue before. I wonder if that's just a unique thing for this world. It's very... much a world fitting of dry no legs. Oh, um, there's, there's a change where, uh, apparently, when you were playing in, um, ah, um, no, I don't want to continue. Um, when you were playing with no bullet clears, it was not, um, you didn't get credit for the, uh, bullet clears, and I think Matt said he's gonna fix it so that, um, you still get the clear bonus even though the bullets aren't cleared. So that allows like pretty ridiculous score rates because that the no bullet clears is the handicap which uh, makes the game harder and increases your score and ah whatever I won't do it twice um, I rather like this one this attack it's very easy to use um, doesn't do much damage though it's it's real benefit is the uh, it pierces enemies. Yeah, so now if you play with all of the handicaps on, you can get some pretty insane score. I, uh, I don't really mess with handicaps yet. I'm just playing pretty normally. I, like I've said before, I love games like this. I just don't usually have the, uh, time or drive to focus on just one of them forever to, uh, get really good enough. I wish I did, but, uh, uh... I tend to, s to spend my time on a bunch of different games instead of, you know, focusing all in one. I even have trouble with just RPGs. Um, if they're in my favorite series, generally I'll make an exception. And even then, lately, like, I got the frickin' Xenoblade Chronicles X, um, limited edition thingy. I played the game for maybe 20 minutes? Um, seems alright. I just... I haven't really felt like sitting down and playing a ton of it, really. Not the game's fault. Though it is the game's fault. Well, not the game, but the company's fault. There's some crazy DRM, and it's like broken on the um, OST thumb drive they gave. And I, I should have known that there would be some bullshit since it wasn't on a CD. And that's just, that's just stupid. And that's the. That's the sort of crap that encourages piracy, even from people that want to pay. Like, that's just dumb. And I'm, I can't believe that more, fuck. Um, well, that like any games media, like the only companies that, or the only people that reported on it were like, um, I think it was like Nintendo everything, like random Nintendo focused blogs. Not like your Kotaku's and your whatever the heck who's. So, I do like the, the, there's a different background for each level in each world, so it, this is sort of nice progression that uh, that brings. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, I can't believe that more media didn't cover what is super bullshit, and like companies should be put on blast for doing ridiculous crap like that. See, Matt's sword thing is nice, but it... it if you don't have reason to use it, like if you're too far away, you can't use it. So it's a little limited in its use. I think these mines are yet again something that you don't need to kill. Oh, 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 oh! I remember now. The mines actually kill enemies too. They're not like the spike balls. The spike balls you definitely don't want to hurt. The spike balls will ruin your day, like me. Anytime you see stuff scrolling in from the side here, you know you gotta you gotta stay on it to kill all of them. Otherwise, you'll miss your, uh... Oh. 
Even though his attack looks like it has an area of effect, it looks like it covers the whole screen, too. Maybe it just does less damage to the whole screen, but it does more damage if the bullets hit. That would make sense. This sure is less stressful without the heavenly difficulty. It's a very it's a very good difficulty setup. Like, pretty much anyone should be able to beat normal mode, especially with handicap or not handicap, with cheats. But um Oops. But heavenly and the high score stuff is pretty serious. Just gives a really great sense of death, and the I like that bullet grazing. Because grazing is pretty dang tricky, even even on top of dodging. Because you got to really know your stuff to do that, and you got to keep a really steady hand, and you got to actively let enemies attack attack and stuff. So, see, here's where the um, that big blade can be useful, because it pierces his sort of shield of lesser enemies and lets you hit both of them at once. Now that he's dead, we gotta kill his friends. You don't want to kill somebody, leave their friends alive. That would just be rude. You gotta kill them. You gotta kill people together. That's the humanitarian thing to do. We're, just be we're being very courteous right now. Level complete. Oh man, we did pretty bad on that one, huh? Oops, sorry. I'm skipping dialogue again. Oh, we got a star. Oh, the rank the asterisk is a star. I thought it was like that was like unknown or something. The pirate knight. I'm surprised we didn't get that before. What's wrong with me? Everything's wrong with you, Lance. Oops. I hate all of you. Okay, let's pick different. Let's try Lance for a level, just to show everybody off here. Yeah, sure. Oh wait. Let's look at his Bach. Keep forgetting. So the default is just weapon rate. Bomb damage, movement speed, invincibility time. Yeah, let's just do normal. Blah, blah, blah. So this is one of a few special attacks or sub weapons that uh, just acts largely like your normal weapon really for better or worse and generally that lets it be very versatile because you can just use it to pump in extra damage on any normal or boss area it's really the specialized ones that get trickier to use rest in peace money And sometimes you'll want to be careful with which enemies you kill and stuff like situations like that, because they'll spawn more bullets. But uh, there's usually still a way around to dodge, even if you kill a whole ton of them at once. I love that money, the money clear. It's very satisfying, and it gives you a nice reward for your clearing while allowing, you know, instead of that, you get an extra heart if you get a perfect clear after taking damage. It's a really great balance of allowing players to oh, to fuck up like I just did there, versus um, while still rewarding players that didn't screw up. Though in general, it seems like shoot 'em ups. Well, they're at least trying to have a sort of a comeback on uh, by coming to PC. Um, there's a whole ton of. Um, did you see a game just bring up a whole ton of shoot 'em ups to PC lately? And I, I hope they're selling well. I don't really, I don't know if they've been talking about exact sales numbers or if they're, you know, happy with how they've been selling so far. I, uh, I don't really do too much of the businessy side. Like, it's also secretive anyway. It's not like I, they probably haven't actually said anything. Um, I would be surprised if they have anyway. Uh, you just sort of guess what sells well by what people continue to make. It's 
kind of dumb. Like, a lot of industries are just super happy to divulge their numbers, but gaming industry is always very ridiculous and secretive. See, Lance's bomb is definitely a specific area of effect, and it's not a super huge fan of that. It probably does more damage on that one area than a normal bomb would, but, um, oh. Poor Nats. Um, what was I talking about? Nature Kid. Um, oh, hey, three stars. Monolith time. Okay, let's go to, or actually, wait, this isn't the boss. Of course, there's monoliths. Um, there's little wheels. Why are there wheels? The little background particles. Um, little baby monoliths. They're so cute. Aww. You have a lot of health for a little guy. Oh, they're disappearing. I thought they were dead, but they just like disappeared or something. That was weird. Yeah, they disappear for a bit. I thought they were dead, but it's not. Strange. All right. Um, crap. What was I talking? Oh yeah. Um, among Degesia's new releases is um, Darius Burst Chronicle Saviors. That's the full name. Um, I actually I've seen Darius, of course, but I haven't played one, so I wanted to sort of practice that and figure out exactly what I'm doing before I showed too much of that. It's like a huge game. Like, there's a ridiculous amount of stuff in it. Like, I think it's like a... Like, not quite a remake, but like sort of a compilation, but also new, and I don't, I don't know exactly what it is, but like, it's a whole ton of stuff from uh, like the whole series, I think. I don't know. I need to sort of scout that one out a bit more. So I don't really know the general mechanics, and that can be sort of... That can be a killer in some of those games. It looked pretty good though, and it even ran on my uh, Service Pro 3, which is usually a good sign for optimization. You didn't live very long, Mr. Monolith. Oops. I do like the real-time rank updates over there. Another game, um... Assault Android Cactus has this S plus meter that basically how S plus works in that game is that you can't drop the combo ever. So um, it just it lets you have an option to show whether or not you've ever dropped the combo. So it's useful if you care and you can turn it off if you don't, which is nice because it doesn't. <clears throat> you know, it feels kind of like it's judging you while it's there. And if you don't want that, you can just turn it off. And I really like when games, you know, they offer sort of a lower stress, um, whatever, option like that, like, uh, by turning off, like, personally, I don't like timers and shit, like, I don't like to see how long I've played a game and stuff, or, um, completion percentages, if it's like, in Grand Theft Auto type games, I hate the completion percentage, because I'm never going to complete 100%, they're freaking ridiculous, so I really wish I could just not see that every time I pause. Um, I've been meaning to do a blog article about that, of just, uh-oh. Um, of course. Um, sort of designing for low anxiety. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm stuck. Whatever. Bye, Monolith. Oh, crap. Ah. I'm doomed. Is this an extra wave, or is this a normal wave? Ah, it was a bonus, okay. I guess that's okay then. Alright, I think it is boss time. So let's try out that, um, this thingy. What were your things again? Bomb, item, meh. Okay. Have I shown? I don't think I've shown. I haven't even bought the cheats. So let's show the cheats. Uh, for those of you that want a bit of an easier time, you can have foes drop hearts to heal you, bomb items, bullet clears, strength of your attacks, shield bullets, more items, more damage, 
slower enemies, more health, you know, all that kinds of good stuff. Let's just buy a few of these since I'm in here. Just feed my completionism. There are some metals tied to use to some of these, like the uh, bullet clears. Uh, we already saw that. Oh, it didn't advance the thing. Alright. Oop. I don't need the leaderboard. Alright. Oop. I'm skipping. Let's go back. Stop skipping, Tap Tap. Is that Balos? <laughs> Ballows from Cave Story? I'm kind of a sucker for when games not only draw inspiration from, you know, but like parody enemies from another series, but sort of reference the fact that they have done that. Oh, it is! It's Balos. Well, it's it's the eye of Balos anyway. Oh, new boss music time too. I prefer this one to the earlier themes. Um, ah, we don't need to take damage that early. Ah, I always press the wrong button to try and restart. Whoop! Oh, I was wondering what the L1 button or the R1 button does. It's bomb. Don't press it on accident. Ah. I'm forgetting how to use this thing. Okay. You know, I never beat the true end of Cave Story. I never uh, beat Balos. I actually couldn't reach Balos. The... I think I got two out of three endings. I never... Um, like, I beat the Professor, but there's that crazy, like, hellscape thing that I never got through. Right. Sometimes you just gotta move really jerkily and um, sort of uh, draw their fire so you can make your own escape. That's why I got caught last time. Wow, this weapon is really effective on him. I think it's because you're supposed to hit the... Uh, you're supposed to hit the things in front of him. His little subunits. but uh, you don't have to with this thing. Also, one thing about regarding whether things are OP in games like this, um, very often in games where bullet grazing is a thing, um, it is actually ideal to spend as long as you possibly can on a boss, and you just get grazing, you just graze bullets for points, and if a boss does not have a timer, you can... Um, often exploit it to a really ridiculous degree, and it's actually incredibly boring to do and to watch. Um, so it's kind of important to have a timer, and that's something this game does have. Um, I don't think we've timed out in any waves except for the ones where the enemies just leave. Um, there's actually a game called Hidogata Hapa. You've, I'm sure I've ranted about it before in this series. It's one of my favorites. Um, but all of the bosses are on timers, and uh, they're often very short timers, too. Well, not super short, but I mean, you don't have t too much time to dick around and bullet graze. And I kind of prefer that, because I don't really care for boss milking as a mechanic. It's just... eh. Bye-bye. I think some of our sub weapons might have been overpowered in this battle. I always like the. Uh, you should just become a comedian leader as well. I always like the uh, self-aware dialogue in these. I'm always getting like rank twenty something. Oh well. Oh, that is for another episode. So we. Oh, I like that it reminds you that you bought something, because I usually forget. So, can we buy any? Sure. Not even gonna use any of that crap except for the metals. Oh, one thing, I forget if I told you. Um, if you played the Congregate version, 
or whatever, if you imported your save from another version, um, you can activate your medals just by going in here and selecting on them. I'm not sure if the game makes that clear or not, but uh, that'll let you get all of your precious, worthless Steam achievements that you so clearly desire. Yeah, stay tuned for next episode. I think, do we have 10 worlds or do we have 8? We have 10. Why is, why is it so laggy? Well, doesn't matter because I'm about to close the game anyway.